Hi, my name is Mary Ingalls. I'm an assistant scientist on board the Robert C. Siemens, which is a sailing school vessel. Uh, we are a study abroad program for high school and college students, and we study oceanography and nautical science. Um, we have a land portion of this program where the students get introduced to oceanography and nautical science, and then they get their practical experience at sea um, when they come sailing with us for four to six weeks. So my background is I studied biology in college and then in grad school I studied geology. Now that may not seem like the right things to study in order to study oceanography, but the beautiful thing about the ocean is it doesn't really matter what science you study, um, it all pertains to the ocean. So for example, if you are interested in physics, uh, we map the ocean floor using sound and that's all based on physics. Um, if you're interested in biology, there are all sorts of creatures that live in the ocean. Um, don't need science fiction, there's weirder stuff in the ocean than you'll find in any science fiction book. Um, if you're interested in chemistry, ocean chemistry controls all the life in the ocean. Um, most oceanographers study a little bit of everything because you can't really get a sense of the whole picture without studying everything. So this is our main steering compass on board. It's a magnetic compass. Um, and you might think that on a metal ship, it would be hard to have a magnetic compass. And that's what these two big metal balls are for. They help cancel out the magnetics that are associated with the metal hull of the ship. And so the only uh, magnetics that the compass reads are the magnetics in the Earth. And so we can orient ourselves using a magnetic compass. So now we're in what they call the navigation shack or the doghouse. For example, this is the chart table. All of these drawers here contain charts for all of our different trips. And uh, this is a chart of the approaches to San Diego Bay, which is where we are now. Um, we're in the north end of San Diego Bay. So this is the bosun stores. Uh, if the sails are to rip, they're the person who would fix the sails. If we need some part crafted, they're the person that we turn to for crafting those parts. As you can see, we have a little bit of every kind of equipment that you can imagine on board because when you're at sea, it's um, problem solving with limited resources. You have to make things work while you're out there because you don't have anybody to resupply. So this is the, what we call the main salon and the galley. Uh, this is where we eat all our meals and socialize, hang out, play games, that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing that takes the students a little while to get used to is that our tables on board are gimbaled. So they pivot, no elbows on the table. Um, and this is so your food stays stationary as the ship rocks back and forth. This is a pretty typical student bunk. Uh, a student would live in here for six weeks. They have a couple of drawers, maybe a cupboard to store all of their stuff for six weeks. The crew get a little bit better accommodations, but not much. All right, so now we're in the forward machinery space. These two machines right here are reverse osmosis water makers. They allow us to take seawater and turn it into drinkable water. We extract the salt out of it. We can make about 60 gallons an hour, and it allows us to uh, take showers every three days instead of once every six weeks, and uh, to drink as much water as you want and to wash your laundry in a bucket on deck. Students spend the first couple weeks in this program just trying to get used to life on board a ship. Uh, the, stu the staff help try to teach them about uh, what it's like to live on board and work on board and to stand watch throughout the night and during the day. Um, the second two weeks, the students take on a lot more of the responsibilities themselves. The goal is to try to get them ready for the third two weeks, which is where they really take over running ship operations. Uh, this job is fantastic. It combines a bunch of different things, allows me to play a bunch of different roles. It's very physical and I get to spend a lot of time outside, but that's balanced by being very academic. Um, we spend a lot of time talking about science and scientific ideas, and it very neatly combines the two of those. Um, I also really enjoy working with people, and this job allows you to work very closely with a bunch of different people.